Hello everyone. Welcome to my new video on Portfolio Manager Certification Examination. I am Vivek Sharma. This is my second video on this particular certification examination, uh, which is conducted by NISM. This particular certification examination is also known as NISM Series 21B. In this video, I am going to take you through two critical concepts uh, which are important to learn if you wish to clear this exam. So let me tell you that uh, today I am going to discuss uh, performance fee and high watermark. What exactly are they? What do they mean? And how to work on them numerically, which means how do we arrive at the performance fee amount for a given client that a portfolio manager will charge. I will also discuss in brief about high watermark. So let me just take you through an example straight away to explain this. Prior to that, just a quick and a brief introduction related to the concept of performance fee. So what is performance fee? Performance fee is a fee that a client account or investment fund may be charged by the investment manager that manages its assets. So it's very clear that if you are an investment manager or a portfolio manager, uh, you can charge a fee which is performance fee uh, to a client whom you are providing this particular service. Uh, this performance fee can be calculated in many ways. There are different approaches to it. But in today's video, I am going to take you through how NISM certification examination uh, prescribes an appropriate method to calculate the performance fee and we will be discussing about that particular approach here in this particular in this video while we understand performance fee it's also important to understand what is high watermark uh, both the terms are used in a way uh, are together in many ways they are not same they are completely different concept but they are used together so high watermark is the highest value that portfolio or the account has reached okay so uh, this becomes the basis uh, for charging the performance fee and the portfolio manager charges performance fees fees only on increase in portfolio value in excess of previously achieved high watermark so it's very clear that you know if in the first year a portfolio manager has reached a particular performance uh, in terms of uh, return and the portfolio value has gone up whatever is the portfolio value post certain adjustments that will become the benchmark for charging the performance fee in the subsequent years so if the return is negative in one of the year after the first year then the high watermark still remains the first year performance value so let me just give you an example to help understand these two concepts which i'm sure will become very clear with this particular example so when we discuss about this example we will try to see first of all how is the performance fee uh, calculated so look at this particular illustration there's an initial corpus of uh, 50 lakhs or 5 million uh, there's a hurdle rate which is agreed upon between the client and the portfolio manager and that hurdle rate is 8% which means unless the portfolio manager crosses this hurdle rate the performance fee is not charged. Performance fee, fee over hurdle rate would be 20% which means if the fund manager exceeds the hurdle rate in terms of return whatever is the excess return on that 20% would be the performance fee. But this is not just the only fee that the client has to pay. There could be a fixed fee in terms of charges that are applicable for managing the portfolio. There can be a brokerage as a separate fee and other expenses may also be there. So assuming that rate of return is 40% on the portfolio in the first year, we are just trying to learn how to calculate the performance fee. So let me show you the entire illustration step by step. So to start with, 
we have the first example here which is that amount invested is uh, 50,000 which we can see very clearly okay now on this amount invested the fund manager has been able to or portfolio manager has been able to generate a one year return of 40 percent uh, very very significant return so this 40 percent actually translates into 40 percent of 50 lakhs or 5 million which is 2 million in this particular case or 20 lakhs in this particular case now this 20 lakh rupees that you can see here it is the return on the investment which has been done now this is not the amount on which performance fee will be charged so we need to understand what is the amount okay so the first thing that we need to know is that this particular brokerage which we have here okay this brokerage charged will be levied on the initial investment amount which is uh, 5 million or 50 lakhs so this becomes the brokerage this effectively is the brokerage that has to be paid by the client to the portfolio manager this comes from the brokerage fee which you can see here which is part of the problem okay so this particular brokerage fee has to be uh, uh, considered from this uh, value that we have put here right but this is not the only fee you have the other expenses also which is mentioned here you can see very clearly this is the other expense so other expense also has to be paid on the initial corpus of 50 lakhs or 5 million this is the initial corpus here you can see here the same corpus we are using here also so the other expense which is 0.5 percent of 5 million or 50 lakhs translates into 25,000 which has been distinctly mentioned here apart from the brokerage and other expense uh, the fund will also or the portfolio manager will also charge the fixed fee of 1.5 percent which is again mentioned here so 1.5 percent of 50 lakhs translates into 75,000 which has been distinctly mentioned here as you can see so after all the fees have been considered and the return has been calculated what is material is that we should work on pre-performance fee closing value of the portfolio so you know what is the closing value of the portfolio pre-performance fee charge to be levied that is something which is important to be calculated and that is what has been done here so to arrive at that number first thing that has been done here is that initial corpus of 50 lakhs or 5 million plus the return that we got here that has been added and from this 70 lakhs or 7 million 10,000 which is your brokerage 25,000 which is other expense and 75,000 which is fixed fee has been deducted by you know all these three things have been deducted from 7 million or 70 lakhs so we've reached to this particular value which is 68 lakh 90,000 now this 68 lakh 90,000 will become the basis to arrive at what is the return that the fund manager has effectively generated for the investor so return generated post fee adjustment is 68,90,000 which you can see here minus 50,000 which is the initial corpus which we see here divided by 50,000 so that gives us a return of approximately or rather return of 37.80% now 37.80% is the return that has been generated by the portfolio manager here so we have to now adjust the hurdle rate from this particular return why because performance fee is payable only on an excess return over the hurdle rate so whatever is the hurdle rate given here that has to be adjusted so what we have done is that return post fee adjustment minus hurdle rate so 37.8 minus 8 percent is 29.8 percent so effectively the performance fee 
can be charged on 29.8% of excess return generated by the fund manager or the portfolio manager and not on the entire 40% return. We have to understand this very clearly. So it's not that 40% minus 8% will become uh, the cost uh, or sorry, the performance fee. It will be 37.8% minus 8% which will be the uh, return on which performance fee will be charged. So performance fee is levied at 20% which is mentioned here clearly. 20% of 29.8% translates into 5.96%. So this is what is the performance fee which will be charged by the portfolio manager and this performance fee in amount terms is 5.96% of the initial corpus. Okay, so whatever is the initial corpus 5.96% uh, of that will be the performance fee uh, which translates into 2,98,000. So this is the amount which will be charged by the portfolio manager in this particular case and this is something that the investor will have to pay to the portfolio manager. So this is the calculation that we have of the performance fee to be paid. Now let me move ahead and tell you that uh, what is the what is high watermark here and what exactly that means we need to understand that as well. So in the previous example, we have already seen that the total investment was this much, which is 50 lakhs as we know. The return is 40% of this, which is 20 lakhs. That is also explained as you would be aware. Brokerage and other fees were 10,000, 25,000 and 75,000. 75,000 is the fixed charge. So high watermark for the next year becomes the adjusted amount which is 50 lakhs plus 20 lakhs minus all the fee. Now, this is the amount which will be considered as the, you know, amount or value of investments on which the performance fee can be charged. So basically the next calculation for the performance fee will be basis this particular amount. So, the fund manager in the subsequent years, in the second year onwards, uh, will have to have this amount in mind while calculating the uh, performance fee that he or she can charge. So these are the two concepts of high watermark and performance fee that I wanted to discuss with you. I have given you the illustration also. In case you have any questions or doubts or queries, please do write to healthofmywealth at gmail.com and do not forget to subscribe my channel that is what i will expect you to do in order to encourage me to share more such videos thank you for watching the entire video i will be back with another video soon thank you once again